Hello everybody, Cub Fan here. It's Friday and you guessed it. It's that time. So I hope everybody had a good work week. Um, I know I did. Kind of enjoying everything day by day. But um, today I got a little something different for you. I do have ball cards. But what I got for you today is I have a contest response for Ray from Philly. Uh, he just hit a thousand subs, which is absolutely great. Um, it's probably one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels. I'm always interested in what Ray has and uh, what Ray's doing. So, uh, just uh, one of my favorite channels. So, congratulations, Ray, on a thousand subs. That's just awesome. I know at the beginning of the year you were hoping to reach. Uh, 800 subs by the end of the year and um, you're already at a thousand so that's just a testament to you and your channel so but what Ray asks is um, Ray asked to name your all-time team and uh, I love this contest because it uh, I love making lists and I love making all-time anything so I thought this was a great idea, but in my warped Cub fan mind, uh, I put a twist on it, and uh, that's just what I always do. I'm a, I'm a rule bender. Uh, so what I did is I came up with an all-time team, but it's an all-time not in the Hall of Fame team. And what I mean by that is... Uh, Every player on my team is a person that is not in the Hall of Fame. Now, this is not a list of guys I think that should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, some of them I do, but some of them I don't. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if I could put together a decent team of, play of guys that are not in the Hall of Fame. Now, some of these guys might make it in someday, and they should. Um, but for right now, um, they're not in. And um, But what I didn't do, and I thought hard about this, is I did not include players that I believe wholeheartedly should be in the Hall of Fame, but are not because of PED use or uh, something like that. So no Sammy Sosa, no Barry Bonds, no Rafael Palmero, no Roger Clemens. And uh, when I was thinking about that, I almost put a all PED team together, uh, but I was uh, kind of running out of names there. But you know, not an all PED team, but a, pretty much a black sheep team. So you have guys like Shoeless Joe, and you can have uh, Pete Rose, and um, Barry Bonds, of course, and Palmero, and those guys. But uh, I didn't want to include those guys. I wanted it to be legit guys that are just on the outside of the Hall of Fame. Some guys should be, but they're not for one reason or another. And that's not what this video is. So, without further ado, we'll start it off. So, uh, at first base, I have Fred McGriff. Uh, Fred McGriff, 493 career home runs, 1,500 uh, career RBIs, 284 career average. Uh, just a all-around solid player, um, and uh, plays decent uh, first base. So there it is. At second, I have uh, Jeff Kent. Um, kind of an attitude guy, not a great guy in the clubhouse, but a solid all-around player for his career. 377 career home runs, 290 career average, 1,500 career RBIs, and an MVP to boot. All right, now this is where I uh, I didn't cheat um, because this uh, guy played a shortstop at one point, or I'm sorry, third. He did play third for a little while in his career, um, mainly known as an outfielder, but I put him at third. And um, he was listed as a shortstop, a third baseman, and an outfielder. So I, I placed him at third. Uh, my third baseman, Gary Sheffield, 500 home run. Club 292 career average 1600 career RBIs. What kind of hurts him is that he's kind of a uh, hired bat, but nonetheless, he's on my all time not Hall of Fame team. And then at short, um, 
this wasn't as tricky as I thought. I mean, I kind of tossed around with Larry, Larry Boa and Dave Concepcion were kind of in the same boat, but I went with uh, the little bit uh, bigger uh, offensive numbers in Dave Concepcion. Uh, Omar Vizquel could have been one as well too, but Dave Concepcion is uh, 267 career average, 2300 career hits. And uh, he would be a great guy to have at the top of the order. So my shortstop, Dave Concepcion. Now let's move to the outfield. At right field, I got the Cobra, Dave Parker. Uh, let's see here, 290 career average, over 300 career home runs, 1,400 career RBIs. But the most impressive, 2,700 career hits. Uh, MVP to boot. Uh, so just a great player, but uh, right field, Dave Parker. I'm thirsty. So next we have a at center field. Uh, Got to have a good leadoff hitter. So I went with uh, Kenny Lofton. And uh, at center, 299 career average, 2400 career hits, over 600 career stolen bases. Got a guy at the top of the order to set the table, um, but there he is, my center fielder, Kenny Lofton, and he's a gold glove winner. And then in uh, left field, I got the Murph. Donnie, that one's for you, buddy. But uh, Dale Murphy in uh, right field, or I'm sorry, excuse me, left field, 398 career home runs, two-time MVP, speaks for itself. So my uh, left fielder is Dale Murphy. And then that catcher, we got Ted Simmons. Um, in my book, should be a Hall of Famer, but he's not. Uh, and part of that is because he, he just wasn't great with the glove. Uh, wasn't very good at handling the pitching staff, but he was an offensive-minded catcher. And uh, 2,400 career hits, 1,300 career RBIs, 240-something uh, home runs, and a 285 career average. And a 20-year playing career, I mean, boom. Ted Simmons, that catcher. And then uh, I went ahead and added a designated hitter. And designated hitter, Edgar Martinez. Probably one of the greatest designated hitters in history. 312, career average, 309. Career home runs, 1,200 RBIs, 2,200 career hits. Uh, he also played third as well, too. But there he is, Edgar Martinez. And then uh, my starting right-handed pitcher, the Moose, Mike Musina. I think he's uh, going to be in the hall. Uh, just isn't yet, but I think he will. Um, two, 270 career wins. Uh, earned run average not that great, but he pitched his whole career in the American League with 368 earned run average. But the most impressive part is that... Uh, he had a 65% win percentage. So you put him on the mound 65% of the time, he gets a win. That's freaking awesome. So there he is, my starting right-hander, Mike Musina. Now my starting left, this was a little hard because most uh, really good left-handed pitchers are in the Hall of Fame because they're hard to come by. But I went with Jim Cott. And uh, let's see... Jim Cott, 283 career wins. Uh, it's a very impressive number. You just got to remember, though, he also played in a million seasons. So uh, he just had a very consistent career. But 345 career, uh, career earn run average. And the uh, most impressive part is that dude could fill his position with 16 gold gloves. So there he is. Jim Cott. Now my right-handed relief pitcher. I could have went with anybody, but I went with Lee Smith. Um, first guy to uh, save over 400 games. He's got 478 career saves. Was the all-time save leader for a while until Trevor Hoffman and Mariano Rivera broke the record. So there he is, Lee Smith, my right-handed closer. And then I think everybody pretty much agrees on this one. I've seen this as kind of the the guy but my left-handed closer Billy Wagner 422 career saves but most impressively a 2.31 2.31 career earn run average 
So there he is, Billy Wagner. And that is my all-time not in the Hall of Fame team. I think it's uh, pretty competitive, uh, but it was very fun. So thanks, Ray, for the uh, great idea and a cool reason to make a video. Also, uh, we are at the halfway point on uh, my giveaway. Uh, I got 10 video responses so far. It's been a lot of fun watching them. I'm really enjoying this, so keep them coming, guys. Thanks, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.